often they will contact me specifically because I'm an art therapist. I'm a registered art therapist. So they want to do art. Um, and so when they come in, I'll just have some art material there and then they choose what they want to use. If it's a new client, then we usually they'll come in for talk therapy, something like CBT or, or just um, wanting to be heard. And so we'll start there, but sometimes they'll get stuck and I might see them using their hands a lot or starting to fiddle and I'll just make the suggestion. You know what? I have some other kids that I've worked with that, you know, they find having fidget things in their hands or they find having a sketch pad as they're talking really helps them. And if the youth says, yeah, that sounds interesting, then I usually have something nearby and I'll hand it to them. Uh, and then it can actually become a process of doing art therapy where they're like, I really like this. Can we do this more? And we can go through that. I find with people who have severe trauma, often they can't start with talk therapy. And that's why I have gone into different types of therapy, the play therapy, the EMDR, the art therapy, um, doing, you can even do sand tray type stuff with youth because sometimes you don't have a voice. You just aren't ready to say it yet. And so with those youth who are really um, having a difficult time, sometimes it's like we'll sit for a half an hour in silence and then it's like, hey, do you want to paint or draw or work with some clay? And that'll usually be enough that they'll just, we just work in silence and they'll just do their thing. The hour will be over. And then the next time we just go right into working um, with something, either paint or, or clay or drawing. Um, there's lots of different modalities that they can use.